Hello everyone! Welcome back! Morphologist here. That intro you guys just watched, that was all me. I did that by myself. No help from the ARMCOM community, no help from anybody. And I'm going to teach you guys in this video how you can do that yourself. So many of you know that it's been a really long time since I've done some Space Engineers content. And I'm really excited to get back into it because they've added so many features. Keen Software House, you guys have outdone yourselves. This is going to make making RP stuff, making storyline stuff so much easier in the future. So how can you do it yourself? Well, to use the replay feature is pretty simple. Hit Alt F10 while in game. Go to the right drop down menu and go down to replay tool. Once you select the replay tool, you'll be presented with a menu such as this. Now the buttons kind of speak for themselves. You can add characters, remove characters, change between the characters you've added by hitting F6 while inside this menu, and you can start and stop new recordings for characters you would like to add into the scene. So I'm going to add a character into this scene so you guys can see how you do it. I'll do it step by step. So first you need to find the starting position of the character you'd like to add and save the map exactly where you want that character to start. Now don't move your character after you've set the position or it will mess up the recording. So now that I've saved the position of my character and I haven't moved, I can go back into Alt F10 and hit record plus replay to initiate the recording. Now when I press this, all my previous recordings in this session will also play along with my new one. So I can make sure that I'm going along in sequence with all the other recordings that I've made. What this allows you to do is run together in a squad with the other recordings that you've made or fly in formation with a large fleet of ships in the air or space. Once you've gotten to the end of the sequence you'd like to record, you're going to want to stop where you are, hit Alt F10 once again, and do not save the map. Instead, hit Stop Recording. Do not save the map at this point either. Instead, hit Reload World. It's going to reset the world back to your previous save, having already saved the sequence that you've just recorded. So don't worry, it's been saved. Once you've loaded back up into the beginning of your sequence, now you're going to want to save the map exactly as it is without moving your character. This way you're ensuring your character is exactly in the right position and you've saved the entire set of sequences you've already made. I recommend doing this for every single replay that you make. That way, you can ensure that just in case you make any mistakes, you can always reload back to the beginning. And in fact, while recording this video, I made a mistake. I forgot to turn the jetpacks off for all of the characters. Correcting this issue is pretty simple. Without saving, I hit reload world once again. Once the world has reset properly, go back into the replay menu and use F6 to toggle between all the characters in the scene. This way, I can actually turn off all of their jetpacks and make sure that they begin and end the scene just as I had previously recorded. Now, this is a bug. It shouldn't be happening in future updates. However, you may want to use this feature to change the suit color of a character or possibly change what they did during that sequence. You can also remove characters by hitting the remove button from the replay menu. Now, if you would like to add another character to the scene, that's pretty simple. Once you're back in the Alt F10 menu, Click Add Character Well in Spectator Mode. It'll place a character directly within your view. To select the character and set their starting position, simply go back into the replay menu, hit F6 until you've selected the character, and begin. Now keep in mind at the making of this video, there are a few bugs like I said. The character's colors don't seem to be saving every time I resave the map. The direction that characters shoot also seems to be somewhat inconsistent. Sometimes they shoot towards the sky and sometimes they shoot exactly where I intended. Ships also sometimes fly into things when they originally didn't when I recorded them. And as you've seen, all the characters are starting with their jetpacks on, which makes for a very difficult reset every time I want to record a scene. Luckily, all of these bugs are easily worked around. It's just a bit more time consuming than I think it should otherwise be. But now you can start imagining the scale of battles you guys are gonna be able to put together without any internet restrictions on the amount of people you can have in a server. It's just purely how much time you wanna spend prepping a scene and recording each individual character's route. Wow, Keen, what an amazing feature. This has come out of left field for me. I did not see this coming. And what it's going to do for storytelling in Space Engineers, well, my mind is on fire. And I can't wait to get back at it with things. <laughs> but anyway, it's not about me. It's about you guys. I'm excited to see what you're able to come up with with this tutorial I've shown you. 
I will be putting a link down in the description below so you can download this scenario for yourselves. Now this isn't the only feature they've added in the Space Engineers, there's a ton more. Interactive LCDs, new blocks built straight into the base version of Space Engineers with a DLC. That's something we'll have to talk about in a later video. We have new ways of generating energy, like this windmill, and even a new survival block. All this and more in future videos on my channel. All you guys gotta do is hit the notification button at the top of the channel to be alerted to my next post. And while you're at it, if you liked the video or if you liked me, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so that you can stick around for future videos. I'm almost to 100k and I can't believe that I've made it this far. I want to thank all of you guys who've supported me through all of these years. Through Patreon, through Discord, through my YouTube channel. I love all of you. And Keen Software House for being so cool to me. I certainly wouldn't have made it on YouTube without your help. You guys have been amazing and I'm looking forward to what you guys come up with in the future. This has been Morphologists, and until next time, I'll see you later.